All right, welcome back. We got a new Holland 3930. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing uh, these quick connect sockets in here. They are uh, leaking pretty bad um, from underneath here, leaking out of that circle. See, they tried to put some silicone on that. Didn't seem to work. Uh, these actually come in, um, these are actually two different pieces. And we'll show you how that, how that goes. Now this side is not leaking, but they've, uh, they've upgraded the design of this. And so it's either using the two older styles or using the two new styles, but they don't fit together. So you can't just buy just this one, one style anymore. And I'll show you what those new new pieces look like. If you are going to get parts for this tractor, a lot of times they can bring it up with the 3930. What your best, best bet is, is to come over here, snap a picture of this. This tractor number is actually your serial number. There's a model number, unit. I mean, they got everything, you know, depending on what you need for, for parts and whatnot. Now these are the new parts here. This is going to be the uh, right side. Obviously you got the bolts for the mounts. We'll see that here in a little bit. Um, but what's really nice about this being redesigned is being able to uh, replace these individually. Because I don't think that's possible on this style. I've never done it, but I don't think that it is in this case like say if that socket goes bad. Um, you know, these are the quick connect sockets for, and these lines here run um, for the uh, bucket. So, you know, you got your bucket controls coming down into this top block right here. Um, and you got, you know, your adjustments to adjust how fast and slow they go. Um, so, basically, this, this top piece right here, you know, kind of comes off. The ironic thing is, is there's a lot of bolts in between what that means is we got bolts you know in here this is in between the two pieces coming together that basically are almost impossible to get to but the nice thing is is once you get these lines off and you got a line a little small line right up here I'll show you how that comes off um, and then take the this bolt and that bolt and obviously take these out this whole thing you know comes off and we'll set an device turn it upside down and it'll be really easy to to, uh, to work on that way now these these are you know these have flex lines and stuff so these will move around a little bit you know you just get a an allen on top of here make sure that um, I don't remember about the size off the top of my head but make sure you get that you know get it in there pound it with a hammer get it Get, make sure it's seated in there good because you don't want to strip these out. This, um, I think a 9 16 rinse fit, fit, fits on the hex head. Let's see if I can come around here. Oh, bear with me. It's just a hex head. You know, just a regular, regular flare fitting. Just loosen it, comes off. Um... These can stay if you want to remove them. Um, it's not too bad. You can uh, pull pins and uh, these pins and stuff out of here. You can pull these uh, C clips off of here if these are, you know, I'm going to leave them on. But you can do that. Um, looks like already these have been, I might have did this. I worked on this tractor last year. Um, But basically, if you you know if you can't remember where these where these go, um, you know you want to keep them you know these two together. So obviously there's a there's a red and a red. So we'll keep that together, and then the red goes on this side. If you flip them the opposite way, it just means that that control will be backwards. So you just you know flip them around again. What you don't really want to do is have this one 
over here and one of these over here so it's good to mark that you know we got got a couple of green <coughs> zip ties on here you know that's why I just get a good whole container of different colored zip ties that do that on a lot of things so we'll get these you know and these things just uh, suppose they just pop out okay push it forward you know the first thing you want to do is set your bucket down and I already did it but you know move these back and forth with the engine off it releases all the uh, hydraulic pressure that could possibly be in there so obviously it's still gonna leak you know but um, you want to you don't want to have the pressure and stuff in there so let's uh, get these off and I might quick show you the parts breakdown of this you know here's you know your uh, left side and your right side and you see how they go together a little knob a little knob there there's o-rings on there and so you know kind of nice when you see these pictures um, if they would show you a picture of everything together because this is you know it's kind of confusing I mean one would think that you have two of these but you only have one now maybe different styles you know do have two maybe one gets mounted over here and one gets I don't know but in this particular style I mean you just have one mounting pedestal right there that this goes on to and really you know this side's not even mounted to it it's more just mounted to this block this side's the one here that's got the bolts that mount to the pedestal there so well let's uh, go ahead and get these back uh, get all these get these two lines off get this other line off of here pull all these off and get those bolts loosened up and get this thing off yeah so with this with these uh, rubber deals off of here I mean I just don't see that being replaceable if you had to individually replace each of these things um, so it's really a lot nicer setup with the way they've redesigned it plus it doesn't have you know like these little plugs and stuff right here that obviously this one's leaking for both of them and it's also leaking from up inside here somewhere and you know we don't obviously the new ones don't have these uh, vent nipples and stuff so there must be you know they must be doing it another way so we're gonna end up eliminating those and not having those on there um, but all in all it's a fairly easy project and if you're having the issue with you know this system you know it's just it's, it's really easy to fix now each one of these uh, pieces and I'll show you the part numbers here in a little bit um, these up upgraded blocks um, each one's about I think uh, 350 360 you know there was a little bit of a price difference but that was a ballpark around there um, this was the part number for the uh, one on the left side which is uh, this one here well, on the right side has the uh, mounting holes to mount it to the pedestal there. So this is the part number for the one on the right. So we have this uh, 873 82001. It's the one for the right. And then the one on the left is uh, 873 zero. So. <clears throat> Now, along with it, I did order uh, O-rings to go with it, this uh, 277634, but <clears throat> it turns out that the O-rings come with the new ones. Now, this doesn't mean that it doesn't, that they always come with the new ones. I've seen it, you know, I could order these again for another tractor, come to find out the O-rings don't come with them. But anyways, that's part number for those O-rings there, so let's get into this. All right, being New Holland, um, <clears throat> I figured that uh, these would all be metric, but a 3 8 uh, Allen, you know, fits this really, really well. You know, basically you're just taking this off low. Make sure there's, you know, no dirt around there. I don't know why the screen on the camera looks so cloudy I've gotten something on the lens so 
little better. So that's how those go up. I got to go right here to catch any fluid. There's an O-ring underneath of here, and there's another O-ring that's tucked right in there. So you want to watch for those, make sure that they stay in place. So that one's not going to move until we move, get that one off of there. Now this one came apart a little differently there. You can see the O-ring right there and this wanted to come all the way out. There's an O-ring right there. So we'll just leave that there, but this O-ring wanting to slip its way out of here. If everything looks okay with it, you can reuse it. Just need to, you know, make sure it's cleaned up and stuff. So we'll get that out of the way. This will kind of come out of the way. So basically that, you know, these will just, just stay right there. And uh, so now we just need to get that other line off of there. Okay, I've got it removed. Um, these bolts that went into here, uh, 15 16 fit those just fine. Now, I got it turned upside down and getting it drained. There we go, so you pop them up. Some of the oil's gonna drain out of there. The idea here is when you're doing all this, is you know spray and clean all this stuff up around here because you don't want any little tiny thing of grease like that to you know fall down inside of there. Um, can get rid of those. We're not be using them, obviously. Like I said, the uh, new ones don't have those nipples on there. So, but what we're gonna do? We've got three bolts right here. Looks like a 14 millimeter, 9 16 whatever. Got one, two, three. That'll take this pedestal off of here. That's one of the mounting bolts that went on there. One of these big mounting bolts here, I meant to say. Okay, so with the mounting pedestal off of here, just, you know, set down there, it exposes a little bit more. Obviously, now you can see all of the uh, bolts that you need, you know, for this one. One, two, and three. We'll do this side. And it doesn't matter which side you do first, they'll both come apart. Um, this one's just got uh, one extra bolt up here, which is actually a bigger size. And these are the bolts I was telling about that when the pedestal is in here, um, it's really hard, especially to get these two. And you know, so I mean, this is basically pretty much how you got to do this. So much easier just to do it like this and set it this way. Um, but a quarter inch fits this size, that that one right here, and seven thirty seconds fits all the rest of these, including this one, even though it's a long, long one. But this one right here is just a bigger bolt. So seven thirty seconds. Make sure all the these are all clean as you know best you can, so you can get the the. Uh, Allen down in there and not strip them out. Okay, so with all of the bolts out of there, this will uh, just lift off like that. There's one of the O-rings. The other one stayed in there. This is the part, you know, there's a little bit of gunk. You know, you want to clean that out of there as best you best you want to. I'm saying best you can, but best you want to. But you know, you just want to try to not to get as much stuff down in there. As, you know, the one thing you can see there's oil in here now. What we're gonna to have to do is I'm gonna put a uh, rag and stuff kind of in these places like here. Spray some brake clean in all of these and blow this out with air because you don't want to be trying to tighten a bolt down with oil in that hole like that you know because it'll hydraulically lock and you won't you know your bolt will feel tight but you're not actually tightening this down so you want to make sure that you know those are all good and cleaned out and stuff okay now 
just to say um when the when the what I say this it, when the new new pieces over here you know don't fit with the old one it's has to do with this design like right in this area here on how the you know this new right side won't fit with the old left side now it may reverse you know a new left side may fit with an old right side I don't know but I do know that it won't fit you know because I ordered and bought just this one side here and it wouldn't fit it wouldn't line up because it kept the bulge in right here was too big and the, the design you know since it's changed it won't fit so you've got to for this particular you know if you're gonna have the this side replaced new this side's also got to be new okay so with this uh, base all cleaned up and sometimes you'll have oil you know floating on here you know if you want to you can move these things back and forth you know to get that oil to drain out of there and stuff and um, you know if you want to I had oil that was you know I'd we kept dripping out of here because this I got this kind of on a little bit of an angle um, mainly because that's just how it fit in here so but I got these all all blown out so there's nothing these are all dry these holes and stuff you don't want any liquids of any kind in there and what we we'll do is go ahead and start with the uh, this will be the left side the right side, it'd be the left side when it's, when it's, uh, I don't know, I'm backwards now, but anyways, I believe it's the left side. Okay, so that's the, uh, the side on here, one, two, and three, all tight, I don't know what the torque specs are, hard to really get an accurate torque with an Allen, um, so, just get it, you know, really snug, you'll, you just kind of feel it what what it was when you took it off, um, but I really do like this design a lot better. Um, the only places that this can leak is now right here with those O rings there. They go bad, or right in here. If that you know goes bad, or obviously this itself, but you know with this the way it is now, you should be able to individually replace these. So I do think that's a lot better than what you know these had with these plugs right here um because that's where these were leaking from this is the this is the side that you know that wasn't leaking but this one oops i'm gonna need that bolt this one was leaking here it was also leaking um somewhere up in here probably from the o-ring or something itself was coming down here and dripping down the side but you know I do think it's a lot better better design especially without these plugs on here and to individually be able to replace these deals so do you like that all right so now one more monkey thrown into the deal here notice uh, the thickness of that right there and now the thickness of that the old one was the same everything else is the same bolts not gonna be long enough so we have to get a different bolt you can see here's the old one both the same why they did that I don't know unless they kept breaking these off or something who knows but yep gonna have to get a longer bolt all right so I'm gonna have to use this guy. I don't have any with any uh, Allen heads on them, and these are, um, well, what should I say, these are standard 5 16 coarse thread bolts. Surprised me, I would have figured they'd be metric, but standard bolt. This obviously ain't the hole it's gonna go into. Perfect. in just like that it's gonna be a bitch to get it on but we'll figure it out somehow okay so what I ended up doing was taking the this side off of here which allowed me to be able to get a wrench in here and I'll just stick this side back on like I did before and there 
they both are. Not it on there like they're supposed to. It was just too hard right here. I couldn't get a socket in there. One other thing you probably could do is you could kind of take a Dremel tool and Dremel that out a little bit if you wanted to. <clears throat> or you could actually, you know, run into town and get a, an actual bolt with a Allen head on it like this. Or you can just do it like that. It should work just fine. Let's get this pedestal put back on. Okay, that's all put back together. The pedestal on there I probably didn't show you. I, was this, you know, that's the flare fitting, that other fitting that I was, um, I, I mentioned it before and we tried to point out with the camera when we had it all, you know, built on here. Or, you know, I was trying to film it from this direction when this thing was mounted. This is it right here. Just a regular, regular flare fitting. Uh, I think a 9 16 or 14 millimeter fits on that to get it off. So glad the employees decided to show up for work today. Hey, bud. How are you doing? Yeah. All right, and there's the uh, finished. All put back together. Lines all on. Looks all shiny for now. Like I said, it's really not that difficult to do if you just pull it off there and flip it over like we had it in the vise. So, any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.